Ooh. Okay, we've got the new one in place, but not fully connected yet. I've connected the back coupling and I've put in the washer. The washer or O-ring, as it's really called, looks like this. And <clears throat> like I said, if you're replacing this, it comes with couplings and it comes with new O-rings. Yes, replace these. Don't use the old ones. If you're not already having a leak, you will soon anyway because these get old. So now's a good time to go ahead and put these in. If it's been five or six years, yeah, replace these. And this is what I mean by silicone. I said that there's a Magic Lube brand, but you can get this at Home Improvement Store. Three or four bucks. I don't know. Maybe more, maybe less. Just get some on your fingers there and rub it in. And then um, it goes in between in a groove on the black part there. It will go in there. To get out the old one, you might need a uh, small screwdriver or something to get it out. You don't want to mar the new one because you don't want to gouge it or anything. And so this will go <clears throat> on that on the black side there, and it will go into a groove. And then you hand tighten that. And if if uh, it's if it leaks at all, you want to put just a little bit of uh, righty tighty on it with a uh, strap wrench. I've got a huge monkey wrench out here. It's really bigger than the job, but you don't want to put much pressure on those fittings. <clears throat> so huge pair of channel locks and I can't find mine right now, but that's the way you do it. And then you'll hook the wire up. So I'll show this and be back in a moment. Okay, we're back in business. And uh, as I said, back in business, I'll talk about that flashing light in a moment. But I uh, put the coupler on and I had a leak. So you just really wanna hand tighten these if at all possible and don't use a wrench at all. The leak was from the O-ring not being seated right so I took it back off and put it back on. And then I just ran the power and I just plugged it up. So for the first few seconds or minutes, it's gonna take a reading and it's gonna flash like this while it's doing that and then it will eventually, when it's uh, in good shape and making chlorine and everything, it'll eventually go solid. So right now it's checking the water flow and doing its all its other checks or whatever to make sure that uh, everything's good. And then it will be making chlorine. And hopefully that'll solidify while we're on here. I ran my wire up and out of the way. I think a squirrel chewed the other one a little bit but did not break it. So I'm going to protect that wire a little better on mine all right I'll be back when that's no longer flashing probably take another minute and indeed it was about another minute so we're back in good shape everything is uh, hooked up and ready to go and it's making chlorine again I'm going to uh, go inside and show you what this looks like on the screen logic app so be back in a minute on that just in case you have screen logic this is what it looks like on the screen logic app as you can tell here it's hot as Hades here in Georgia in late July um, but anyway I'm going to click on the chlorinator tab there's a few things that you can hit, do here you can adjust the output and I'll leave these at about 80 percent I know that said 100 percent but in my case I'll leave these about 80 percent I'm going to put it on 85 I had it at 100% to see if it would make chlorine at all the other day. I run my hot tub for a sh much shorter amount of time during the day just to circulate it, so I'm going to leave that one high. As you can see, my parts per million here is already registered at 3450. It lets you know um, here without looking at the chlorinator. Uh, and you can make these adjustments anywhere on your phone app or on the PC app to add a, add a bag of salt or not. So mine's sitting right in a sweet spot right there. So this has been an overview of the saltwater generator for Pentair systems, but for Hayward and Jandy and anybody else, uh, I hope that uh, this also has uh, been good for you too. And um, please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe these videos. Thanks.